In fact, uh, Chip Berg, CEO of Levi's, joins us this morning in a CNBC exclusive. Chip, welcome back. Hi, Carl. Nice to be back. Uh, we talked to you a couple of weeks ago, and you've made no secret that uh, the quarter was going to be tough. In terms of surprises, what, uh, what stands out to you about fiscal Q2? Well, our fiscal uh, second quarter uh, was March, April, and May. So if you think about that time frame, we really did take the brunt of the pandemic. Um, on a weighted average basis, set, about 60% of our stores and our wholesale partner doors were closed during that period of time. And when doors are closed, you're not generating a lot of revenue. I think the positive surprise was the strength of our e-commerce business. We were actually down in March, but it really, I think, as consumers were really focused on necessities as they all went into shelter in place. But, but our e-commerce business came back really, really strong. And in May, uh, we were up 79%. Our U.S. e-commerce business was more than double uh, the prior year. So really strong e-commerce business. I think we're going to see a huge shift in consumer behavior as a result of the pandemic. We're seeing it now as we reopen our stores. Consumers are coming back to the stores. In fact, we have a lot of stores where consumers are lining up um, uh, because we're you know, providing for social distancing inside the stores. So when consumers line up to get inside a door, that's a really good sign on the strength of the brand. But more importantly, they're coming in on a mission. Like They are there to shop. They know what they want. They're in and out pretty quickly. Um, our conversion is very, very high. Units per transaction, very, very high. So um, we knew the quarter was going to be really, really tough. It obviously shaped out that way. We were down 62%. Um, but uh, we're encouraged by the strength of our digital transformation. Um, the team also rallied and created a lot of new capabilities, like buy online, pick up curbside, which we now offer in most of our stores here in the U.S. So. Um, we do expect that this could be, you know, a, a longish recovery, and um, that's why we unfortunately had to make the announcement about reducing about 15 percent of our corporate headcount um, as we go forward.